How to use a password manager by Bitwarden, presented by Baywell. Hi, this short video will walk you through creating an account with Bitwarden, a password manager recommended by Baywell. First, open your browser and go to bitwarden.com. Select the Get Started button on the main homepage. On the Create Account screen, fill out all the fields. Please do not share your master password with anyone and make sure it is a long and complicated password or passphrase. Note that the master password hint is optional. You'll also have the option to check known data breaches for the password before submitting a master password. Select Create Account. You may be required to fill out a CAPTCHA test like the one shown here to prove that you are a human. Once you have created your account, log in for the first time. Again, Bitwarden may ask you to pass a CAPTCHA test. Once you are logged in, prompt Bitwarden to send you a verification email by logging into your web vault and selecting the Verify Email button. Next, I will walk you through how to add Bitwarden to your Google Chrome extensions. Open your Google Chrome browser and search for Chrome Web Store. Choose the Chrome Web Store link. Then in the search field, search for Bitwarden. Select it. Then choose Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. After a little while, the extension will be downloaded and automatically added to your Google Chrome browser. Depending on the way your Google Chrome browser is configured, it may be hidden from view. I suggest making it visible. To do this, click on the puzzle icon in your browser. Locate Bitwarden from the list and click on the pin icon. That will make the Bitwarden extension easily accessible in your Chrome toolbar. To activate the extension, you simply lick the Bitwarden logo that looks like a shield and log in the same way you log in earlier with your master password and capture prompt. Here I'm giving you an example of setting up a brand new account on NPR and how that works. I'm going to use the password generator from Bitwarden to create a password. So I click over there and choose generator. And here I can either use what they suggest or make some changes. So here I'm just going to show you the different options that you have. In this case, I'm just going to use a password and I'm going to make it about the length that I typically like to choose now for everything. I'm now at character length of about 24 or more, and depending on what kind of password is required for each account or how secure you want, you can just check mark each of these and make some changes as necessary to meet the password threshold. What I like here is that you can avoid ambiguous characters. I'm going to create the account and notice that since I have that login, it's going to ask me, hey, should Bitwarden remember this password for you? Of course, I'm going to say yes. Here is an example of a login to my example Gmail account with Bitwarden. Here's how we get the password. Click on the Bitwarden icon in the Chrome extension. Click on the key icon. Now my password is copied. I then paste the password in the corresponding password field in the browser. On Windows, I just press Ctrl V on the keyboard or just right click with my mouse and choose paste. That's how I log in with the help of Bitwarden to manage my login passwords. The same would go for any account that you save in Bitwarden. That is how to set up and use Bitwarden in a nutshell. If you need a more thorough and comprehensive walkthrough, let us know and we can set that up. For now, thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Baywell.